Hey everyone, so we've had a lot of rain and uh, got the hydro going pretty well. We're at 404 watts. That's about its limit, about the best I can get out of it at the moment. So I thought we could do, uh, considering we've got all this lovely water and uh, more power the more better, let's, uh, let's do a hydro tuning video. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the hydro building. I don't need this with me, let's put this down. So yeah, I thought we would uh, do a bit of a hydro tuning series because I now know that the hydro is working well and it's working as I want it to. Uh, like the main structure of it and how it works is working. So now we can tune and get those good efficiencies from it. So we go down there, show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're down at the turbine. Um, it's all running at the moment, but I'm going to turn it all off and with efficiencies, the best place to start is where the biggest loss is uh, and the biggest loss is involved in this nozzle here uh, because it's the biggest nozzle and it has a 90 degree bend on it so in this video we're going to adjust the height of that nozzle to get that right and we're going to um, sort out this bend and make it a more of a sweeping bend uh, more like that one and see what sort of gains we get by doing those things and if we have time we might even take this fitting out of here too and machine a, uh, a tapered insert so it doesn't have this dead stop here because that all creates losses. Right, I'm going to get this all turned off and then I'm going to tune the heights and then we'll work on this part here and we'll see if we can get another, I reckon we might be able to get another 20 watts out of this nozzle. Right, let's do it. Okay, we're back up at the shed and what we need is a baseline first. So let's turn uh, the other nozzles off. So we turn that right down. So we're just on the one big nozzle and that will give us a baseline. So get that turned right down. And this will tell us what we're at at the moment off that one nozzle. Right, so we let that stabilize and then we'll figure out what we're getting out of that one nozzle, see if we can tune it right up. Okay, so it's currently flickering between 164, 169, um, so I reckon we go in the middle of that, I say we go, it's about 167 is about the average of that, um, so we'll take that, 167 we'll go with, uh, maybe not, it's probably slightly lower, 160, let's go 166 as an average, yeah 166, so see if we can adjust that height up and down. Remember when I installed the turbine, the jets, I put slots in them. Uh, sorry, when I installed the jets into the housing, I put slots in them so I can move them up and down. So yeah, we're going to tune that up now. So let's, uh, let's go and see that. See if we can make some improvements. Okay, so it's quite a dark day today, I'm afraid. So hopefully you can see okay. But I've got the turbine turned off here, um, back at the shed. You can use my homemade spanner to loosen this valve. I don't know what position it's already in because it's hard to say but um, we're going to get this loosened so we know where, what our starting point was so we'll, we'll get this to the extreme end of its travel probably move it to the top so I know I can only go downwards and then we'll knock it down slowly while uh, Dot's back at the shed looking at how much power it produces so that is right at the top of its travel I'm just going to nip it up and then I'm just going to bring something down here to just slightly give it just a little knock to knock it downwards as I go. So we'll try it like that first. Probably wants a little bit more. Like that, I'm going to bring something down and I'm just going to tap, 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 knock it downwards as we go and uh, see if we make some more power out of it. Uh, so I think you... Uh, people out there that enjoy the hydro videos I think you'll find this quite interesting um, I do because those slots we put in me and John this is mine and John's idea really to do this um, were uh, five mil uh, each each direction and I think you'll be surprised how much difference it actually makes so we go back to the shed now and I'll show you it uh, what it's making at the top of its travel um, should be somewhere in the middle where it's about right but it's a uh, it's hard to actually say, but let's see what the numbers say. Okay, so we're back at the shed and that is actually still very, very close to what it was before. So we might have already been 
quite close to the top of its travel already as you can see so um, so yeah we will uh, knock it downwards and see if we can get some more power out of it right I've got my radio dots reading the uh, readout of the power um, but 174 at the moment at the very top of its travel ah, I've got my hammer hang on so 173, 74, 75, okay, I'm going to tap it down a little bit and then we'll wait for a second and then you give me a readout, okay? Okay. So I'm just going to tap the top of this down a little bit. Okay, can you let me know if that changes at all? down to 160 now, that's at the bottom of its travelling, you see in 160, see? So the highest one there was um, like 168. And we're down, right down now, low, is it? Well, we're down to about 162. Okay, so it wants to be basically right at the top, I think, really, because that's right at the lowest point now. Okay, I'll bring it up. No, it's all the way up to the top now. Maybe you can give me a readout when you get a stable reading. Okay, I'm staying at 170 now. What's the voltage? Uh, 52.4. Right, okay. And that's at 170. Yeah, 172 now. One seven seven. Okay, that's good. That's significant. All right, I think that's about the best hot spot for it. All right, thanks. Okay, so it seems that um, it the best we saw it seen was one seventy seven. So it went from I think I can't remember exactly what our starting number was now, but I think we got a uh, ow. I think we managed to get a uh, about five watts there, which is good. That's significant. That adds up. So we get that tightened up. It's not on the top, it's a couple of taps uh, down from the top. Um, but yeah, we've added another 10 watts to the system by doing that. Okay, we'll work out, we, we'll do, uh, uh, yeah, added another 10 watts to the system. Okay, back of the power shed, you see we've got the same one singular nozzle on. Look at the difference we've made. We're up to between 177 and 180. So we've added at least 10 watts there, probably more like 12 closer to 12 watts on that nozzle just by doing that little tune that little tune of that height and we've uh, we've added those sort of 12 watts if we could do that on the other three nozzles that'd be great right let's get down to the turbine here so we're just going to do the same thing we did before tuning up the heights now of course this is just increasing the efficiency I can always add more flow if I want as long as there's water available so I can make the nozzles bigger if I want more power um, but that's too easy we want to make the most of the water that we've already got so that's what we're doing here we're increasing the efficiency without increasing the flow we can always increase the flow more get more power when there's water in the stream which there is quite a bit now um, but we want to make the most of that water first so we're going to make the most of it we're going to get it tuned up perfect get as much of this friction out as we can and then if we want more power which we won't for a while we can make the nozzles bigger and just put more water through but first things first is to tune it and get the most out of it so we'll put that nozzle on there and we'll uh, tune that one right up like we did the other one I uh, haven't got dot here today with me so I'm gonna have to do it by 
going back and forward because the Wi-Fi connection doesn't reach down there. Uh, so yeah, I can't look at it while I'm doing it, unfortunately. But it's right, keep me fit up and down the hill. Let's just go and turn that nozzle on and we'll see uh, see what it makes first and we'll see if we can get a few watts out of it. Now, because it's a lower flow nozzle, it's about one litre a second, that nozzle, uh, the gains we get out of it will be smaller than the last one and the one after that will be smaller again. But uh, it's all, all watts, all helps, it all counts. So, hey everyone. So yeah, we got that, um, it's a new day. Um, we got that nozzle tuned up nicely. The height's nice and tuned up. So now I'm gonna turn it all off and we'll tune up the other two fixed nozzles as well. And then we'll see uh, what power we get out of it. See the nozzles are closing, power's going down. It'll go down until we get to the manual one. So yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, tune them up. I'm gonna have to do it on my own this time, but we're gonna get those tuned up and then we'll see uh, see what we get out of them. So first things, go turn the manual one off and then we'll turn on single one, see what power we get out of it and then we'll tune it and see if we can improve on it. All right, zero watts. We'll put one nozzle on. This is the one litre a second nozzle. So we don't expect to get a lot out of that on its own because it's got to overcome all that initial friction of everything. So it won't make a lot of power that on its own. We'll see what it does. Um, we'll let it stabilise a bit and come back to it. Right, so there we go. We're at 36 watts. Now, remember, this is a one litre a second nozzle. So when you're talking about power, from hydro there's a curve of efficiency so because we're only at one liter a second most of the energy of that one liter a second is going into rotating things losses in the alternator and all that kind of stuff and the the remaining energy left in it is not a lot we're getting 36 or 38 watts sort of 40 around 40 watts because uh, there's you know it's got to overcome all that power it's got to spin the fan and everything and that's losses however if we add another liter a second we won't just double the power we'll go up way more than that because we're gonna over we've already overcome all those losses then we're adding another liter a second so as as the as we go up in the curve we reach we reach a point where we're at most efficient and that point for this system is around that 350 400 watt mark um, which is what it's designed to run at. So we're looking at um, about 40 watts. So we'll tune that nozzle, see if we can get a bit more out of it. Okay, so I'm on my way back down. I thought I might as well talk to you while I'm walking backwards and forwards. So what I'm doing here is I'm raising uh, or lowering, depending on what's more efficient, the height that the nozzle is hitting the spoon. Um, and that actually seems to be fairly important with the Turgo. Um, so what we're doing, we want the, as the, as the jet size goes up, the area that it hits the spoon increases. Oh, sorry, I'm walking into a tree. Um, so the area in which it's interacting with the spoon changes. So we need to move it up and down depending on the jet sizes. So it matters what the size of the jet is as to what height it interacts with the spoon. Uh, and that's what I'm tuning, that's why I put the slots in them. Uh, so we're going to go down there now and tune that little nozzle and see if we can get a bit more out of it. So it's, uh, it's quite far down at the moment, uh, it's going to want to come up a little bit. I know that just from looking at it, it's quite low. Um, I always knew that these were going to need tuning and I do admit a little bit as well that I've actually purposely left them a little bit low and a bit out of tune in order to make a nice video series for you of tuning it up because it's just more ability for me to make educational content if we go through this process with you as opposed to me turning it on and it working perfectly straight away. So I purposely put this down to make it inefficient so we could tune it up. But I know it needs to be much higher up its range. So let's do that now. We'll just loosen it off a little bit. might even hear it become more efficient. Right, so I just uh, had to take the turbine out of its housing quickly because um, my nut on the inside had spun and it wasn't allowing me to move the nozzle up. I moved it so far down for my sneakiness to detune the turbine a bit so I could uh, 
make tuning videos properly about it and get it all worked out perfectly in, on video but I moved it so far down that the nut span and then I couldn't get it in place but anyway I've got it, it up where it should around where it should be we still need tuning I've just taken the nozzle out as well where is it there and uh, I'm just giving it a really good polish on the inside I don't know if you ever heard of race cars having a port and polish to increase flows and just giving that brass a nice polish everywhere where that water hits giving it a nice polish on the inside and that's going to help as well so yeah this uh, this nozzle really was miles out this is going to make a big big difference much bigger you know huge difference so we're gonna we're gonna be well up close to 500 watts after doing this that's before we even change the bends so yeah that's that's pretty nice and smooth okay so i just uh pulled the other nozzle out here sorry it's a bit hazy it's a bit hot and humid today well not hot but just steamy you know uh, but yeah there's the smallest nozzle so we'll take that one out and we'll give it a polish and we'll put that back in too and then we'll adjust that height see what gains we get okay and just uh just polishing up this last nozzle so this is obviously going to be changing the size of that hole a tiny little bit but it's very very small amount um so yeah what we're doing here just to make sure everyone's aware is we're not changing the flow we're not making the nozzles bigger or changing any of that we're just increasing the efficiency and uh, we're doing that by changing those nozzle heights and by um, lowering the friction inside these nozzles we'll also be lowering the friction inside these as well to get even more power out of it um, a lot of what i'm doing here is for educational purposes um, i don't actually need more power out of it in fact it will spend most of its life turned down but uh this is as well as powers my house this is also a hobby of mine so uh for that reason i'm quite fascinated with tuning it right up and getting the most out of it i'm just going to get this small nozzle back on and then we've got to tune the heights of them and then we'll see what the power we get I think we're going to be quite surprised with the difference. Right, okay, we're ready to uh, drop this down back in its slot. Oh, it is one heavy, awkward thing. So, yeah. So we'll go back and just try that one now that that one should be tuned and uh, see how much we're getting out of it now and then we'll tune that one and then we'll do a full power test. So on our way back to the uh, power shed and uh, we'll make a few predictions. So that nozzle was way, way, I, I, like I say, I confess a little bit, I did detune it for the purposes of then tuning it in order to make a uh, nice content for you guys. Um, but it's actually, it was way lower than I thought it was, right down the very bottom. It might have actually been um, even increasing drag, that nozzle. So uh, we'll see how it does now. I think probably about 80 watts. I think we would have doubled it at least. Hey, you lot aren't supposed to be in here. Out, 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 come on, out. Okay, it's done its sweep. So we've got the one nozzle on, the manual one is off. 75, 78, big increase there, big increase. So let's uh, tune the other small one up and then we'll do a full power test. Okay, so we've just got the one manual nozzle on now and uh, none of the others and we've tuned it. You see we're now at 41, yeah, around 40 watts with that. We've doubled that one too. So yeah, let's uh, do a full power test. Let's turn everything up full whack. This is the uh, next one, about one litre a second. This is the two litre or so. And then we'll open the spear valve at full whack. Let's watch that power go up. See what we get. At least 450, at least, we should see. At least. That's my prediction anyway. 30 oh okay we're seeing we're seeing 440 
but it looks like we're draining the pipe now um, it hasn't rained for a couple of days the stream's a bit low well not low but there's not enough water in it it seems to sustain it see it's slowly dropping that's because we're slowly draining that pipe so uh, we'll have to do a full power test once we've got a little bit more water in the stream so we're running at 380 at the moment and um, we're going to go and look at the intake and uh, and see how much water we got i don't think we've got enough water to get to do a full power test today we'll have to wait till we get a bit more water so i'm just off of the intake here um i think we might just about have enough to do a full power test see we've got spare oh, i don't know how much that is maybe a litre and a half might just do it you know we might just have enough there's a couple of leaves on there might have been restricting it it's going to be taking all of that though for sure right let's uh yeah by the way that is the amount of water we're talking about to make 450 watts with this uh head and flow it's uh not a lot so yeah let's go back down and uh try a test i think we'll get pretty close all right let's give it a try i've got some stuff running so we're drawing some power so it doesn't max out the batteries let's uh yeah open the spear valve all the way up see we're going fully open now i'd like to see 450 out of it i think we can see 450 <coughs> spear valve's getting opened up it's probably about half open now that's getting towards fully open and there we go 450 445 449 440 447 I think we can almost call that 450 yeah conveniently it's actually just started raining a little bit so it might just give us enough to uh, run a full test there we go I think it will so we're down we got just the spear open and the manual open let's see if we can get 450 ready let's do it it's gonna be so close we've nearly seen it already but let's see 450 there it is 451 450 there we go we got it Good improvement, 50 watts improvement on the top of the range. Let's say I did trick you a little bit, I tuned it down a little bit, 454 there, tuned it down a little bit to make this video, but we've got, you know, our, our, our power through the range has gone up considerably for the amount of water we're using. So still improvements to be made. We can take those 90s out, but we're up now at 450. We're doing good. Sorry, just ended the video, then remembered I wanted to ask you guys something. Now, I have a bridge rectifier down here, and it is, it's good, it works, it's great, but there's a lot of loss involved. Now, I'm running currently at, we're at 440, something like that, watts, and uh, it's about, well, what's the temperature in the shed? 17 degrees in the shed, but this is running at 55... 60 yeah as you can see it's hot it's very very hot to touch like it, it you know you can you can hold your hand on it but you know the, once that's been running at 430 for a while that, that'll get up to 70 degrees fairly quickly um, so yeah if anyone knows a more efficient way because obviously the power I'm getting and I'm reading to you is after that so the loss is already happening by the time we're getting to 440 there's 30 or 40 watts being lost in just that to get that 60 degrees. So I really, if anyone out there knows a better way of doing that with like MOSFETs or something uh, where it's possible, that would be great if you could let me know. Like I say, I don't actually need the power, but I'm really interested in getting everything like as good as it possibly can be. See so yeah, if anyone's got any ideas of converting three phase wild AC into DC uh, with something more efficient than uh, bridge rectifier diodes, diodes in a bridge rectifier configuration. I think MOSFETs would be more efficient. If anyone out there knows how to do that, that would be really good. Let me know. Okay, that is going to be the end of this video. We're currently at 452, 449, 451. We're right there. Um, 
yeah we've added 50 watts to the top and a lot more than that in the middle of the range where it's a little bit more efficient so really good progress like say i did actually purposefully move those nozzles a little bit too far down uh, just so i could make this video and tune it and explain like and so you can see the sort of differences you get from 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 those things which is significant it's not huge but it's significant um and you can see uh, the power we're making now so we're up to 450 now in the next video we'll take out those 90s make them more of a curve see if we can get 10 watts here and there from them as well okay hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching